If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Hello everyone. In our previous lectures, we have seen that how you can convert the angle in um, a decimal system or the uh, uh, angle in decimal degrees to the sexagesimal system that is degrees, minutes and seconds. But today we are going to understand or to learn a new system of angle measurement that is a circular system in which the angle is measured in radians. So before understanding uh, with the help of example that how you can convert the degrees into radians or the angle in decimal degrees into the radians, we, let's have a short overview of the circular system of angle measurement. This is basically a system just like sexagesimal system and the decimal system for measuring the angle. And it is used in all higher branches of mathematics for, me for measuring angles. And the, in this system, the angle is measured in radians. Or you can say that unit of angle is radians. Like in sexagesimal system, the unit of measuring angle is, uh, is degrees, minutes and seconds. And in, and in degrees decimal system, the, uh, the unit of measuring angle is degrees. Similarly, in this system, the unit of angle is radians. So let's see what is radian, a short overview of a radian, then we will move towards how you can convert the degrees into radian. Now what is radian? Let's draw a circle in order to understand the concept of radian. So this is a circle with the radius r and this is the center, that is O. So what is radian? If I, and this is a point A on the circle, if I mark an arc of, uh, um, mark an arc equal to the radius of the circle, on from point A from here anywhere on the circle on the boundary of the circle like if I mark an arc here this is P and the size of this arc would be equal to the radius of a circle then I have to join this point like this after that if I say that the angle that is formed here is one radian so this is the concept of radian that when if I write it in the form when length of arc that is AP is equals to the length of radius that is radius of a circle OA then in such a case measurement of angle AOP would be equal to one radian one radian so this is the concept of the radian the definition of radian is basically it is defined as the angle subtended at the center of the circle so this is the center of the circle. Angle is formed at the center of the circle by an arc. Now what is arc? This is the arc that we have made here. This is the arc by an arc whose length is equal to the radius of the circle. So here we have also written that its length is equal to the radius of the circle. Then the angle will be equal to one radian. So this is the concept of the radian. Now let's see what is the relation between the radian and degrees and on the basis of that we will have to uh, uh, we, we will have to convert the degrees into the radians by using an example the relation between degrees and radians is 360 degree that is one complete revolution is equals to 2 pi radians now on one side of the equality we have the angle in decimal degrees form and on the other side of the equality we have the angle in radians so we can rearrange this and we can convert it further into a form as 360 degree divided by 2 as we have to move the 2 of the 2 pi radian on the other side of the equality like this. If I cancel it, I will get 180 degree and what will I, will, I have to write is 180 degree is equals to pi radians and we can also convert into a form that 1 degree is equals to pi by 180 degree radians now what is the use of converted converting it into different forms now by using these relations we can easily convert the degrees into radians and the radians into degrees let's have an example and use this concept and the relations for converting the degrees into the radians so the example is we can write it as 135 degree is equals to 135 dot 1 degree as you multiply the 1 with the uh, 135 with 1 degree, it will be the same as 135 degree. Then 135, we have to replace this 1 degree with this pi by 180 radians. So I'll write pi by 180 radians. 
and if I solve it further, what I will get? Here pi is equal, the value of pi is 22 by 7. So, if I further simplify it as 135 dot 22 by 7 multiplied by 1 over 180 radians and after simplification what we will get is 0 0.75 radians or we can also write it in the form that is in the form of pi by keeping the pi as intact and, uh, and uh, do not replace it with 22 by 7 by just simplifying 135 over 180 as as 3 pi by 4 radian. So these are the two forms that you can consider for con converting the degrees into radians. So let's have one more example where you have to convert the radians into degrees. Example number two is expressed following into degrees. So we have the angle in radian as 2 pi by 3 radians. Now let's convert it into degree. Now you have to keep the relation that we have uh, discussed um, earlier the, uh, between the radians and degrees in order to convert the radians into degrees. So if I write it as 2 pi by 3 radian is equals to 2 pi by 3 dot 1 radian. As we know that if I write the relation here as 360 degree is equals to 2 pi radians so we have to we have to extract one radian from this expression by like this 360 degree divided by 2 pi is equals to one radian now this expression can be used to convert the angle in radians into the degrees by replacing the one radian with 360 degree over 2 pi so this have, has to be remembered so 2 pi by 3 dot 1 radian is 360 degree divided by 2 pi so it will be cancelled out like this and 3 1 0 3 3 1 3 2 0 so what we will get 120 degree hence 2 pi by 3 radian is equals to 120 degree so that's it so this is how you can convert the angle from radians into degrees and degrees into radians by just understanding the con the relationship between the radians and degrees so that's all from today's lecture thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you